Hey guys, this is Earl and Brian here. Today we're gonna go over the auxiliary connector functions on our harness. We get a lot of questions about what exactly you're supposed to do with these and what the purpose on the harness is. We also get a lot of people that use the ignition power and ground as inputs rather than outputs. So they think that, you know, this wire has to be powered with ignition power and that one has to be chassis ground, which is actually the opposite of what its intention is. So. On this harness, what we did is we used ignition power and chassis ground to power up a CD7 dash, and we went ahead and put a Deutsch style connector, and it's wired up the same orientation as the AM CAN net. So that'll go right to their dashboard. That's one simple use of the aux connector. That one just uses CAN high, CAN low, chassis ground, and ignition power. You can also do some other really neat functions with it. So this is more of ECU related functions. So we have some analog inputs like this pink wire is an analog input. That's gonna be a zero to five volt sensor input. And if you look, everything's labeled on our documents. So we've got the pink wire right here is analog 10 input. So that's gonna be pin C175. And if we go right over here, we've got sensor input, aux connector, and the color pink is shown. So what you can do with these is you can use them to add extra analog sensor inputs, like maybe a coolant pressure or maybe a fuel temperature. Most of our harnesses are equipped with oil pressure, uh, oil temperature, fuel pressure, and flex fuel from the factory. So there's not really too much to add, but in the event that you do want to add, you know, a coolant pressure or a fuel temperature, you do have the option. So. We'll go over, this one's a digital input. Now this is gonna accept a frequency. Uh, this would be used with a wheel speed sensor or potentially a drive shaft reluctor, depending on what kind of setup you're using. It could also be used as flex fuel, but like I said, most of them are equipped with flex fuel already. And then we've got other functions, like this one's a high side output. This is gonna be used to output 12 volts and this will trigger a relay so you could use this potentially for meth injection or nitrous applications we've also got this mode select one now this one is also an analog input and we can just take a look here should be pin 70 right here so what that is is uh this is made specifically for a trim switch so that if you want to do progressive boost control or maybe progressive traction control you'd have access to it. We just put these in for adaptability in the future. This is another digital input. Um, you could do one driven wheel, one non-driven wheel for traction control, items like that. So pretty much we give you a lot of adaptability in the future. Um, the only one that you're really required to use is going to be this fan relay one. And what this is gonna be is this is gonna be a low side output. It'll be the opposite of this high side output. This is actually going to produce a switch ground instead of switch 12 volts. Again, it has to be used with a relay. It can't take any sort of amperage draw other than the relay coil turning it on and off. So that pretty much covers the auxiliary connectors. We get tons of questions. Um, a lot of people misusing them. These ignition power and grounds here are only supposed to be used for gauges. You're not supposed to use them to power anything else. And then these five volt and sensor grounds are gonna be uh, like for a three wire, like a pressure switch, like I was saying with the coolant pressure switch. So pretty much this covers the basic usage of the aux connector and hopefully it'll answer a lot of questions for you guys.